Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. In this video, we are going to discuss the commentaries, comments, not commentaries, comments and criticism on the recent judgment given by the Karnataka High Court against Twitter imposing a fine of 50 lakhs. You can read the cases Twitter INC versus Union of India in WP number 13710 by 2022. Justice Krishna S. Dikshit he has, impo he has even refused to give a stay order on the fine of 50 lakhs. So this shows that the center has got unchecked power to restrict the free speech, which is a violation of Article 19, Clause 1 of the Constitution of India, which is one of the most fundamental freedoms, that is freedom of speech and expression. Please remember, these are the comments only. Before that, let us know what happened. You all know, very recently, previous, the <coughs> previous CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, he has tweeted that the government of India, I think, uh, in other words, threatened him to withdraw or to block certain uh, so-called tweets uh, accounts, certain accounts. The government is acting in a threatening manner. So in their opinion, it may be correct. So the trouble started from the agrarian trouble, three agrarian laws and no much of comments and criticism by the other parties. The government wanted to block the accounts basing on the powers endorsed in it under section 69A of the Information Technology Act. Now Twitter comes to the court, Karnada High Court and says that the blocking orders are uh, procedurally and substantially deficient of the provisions of 69A. What does 69A? It can monitor, it can intercept like that. But it cannot directly give the blocking orders. And uh, actually there is uh, now may, you may be knowing that uh, METI rules, M-E-I-T-Y that is Ministry of Electronics and uh, Information Technology. Right? So. This, uh, they have given a letter to the Twitter. They served a letter to the Twitter stating that, uh, uh, showing cause as to why they have not deleted the accounts which are suggested by the government. And they say, when they will be deleted, they will be deleted if they are against to the integrity of the nation, security of the nation, friend relations with the other countries, public order and things like that. What public order is going uh, by this so the tweet should be so effective that if the people see, then they will have they have to react. It didn't happen. So they say that the authors of the Minister of Electronics is totally procedurally wrong, right? But Karnataka High Court, they have mainly took the issue, they taken the issue, stating that you people, you were given notice about a year back. You are given caution that if you don't respond, you will be liable for punishment with heavy fine. But you didn't react till one year. After one year, now you are coming and saying that you have complied and you don't want any action. What is this? You are a billion dollar company. You are not a buffalo grazer. Mirevi, palal boy raithu kadaya, billion dollar company, you should be more careful. So you should have approached the court. So you were given notice and you, uh, there is no reply from you. There is a heavy delay of one year and more than a year. So now you are coming and saying that no action to be taken. No, we are not going to tolerate this and you have to pay 50 lakhs fine. Right. This is the <coughs> decision given by the Honorable High Court Justice Yes Krishna Dikshit. Now, the comments are, like Akar Patel, he is a human rights activist. So, 
his account his account was blocked then he filed an intervention petition but it was rejected by the high court high court did not accept because whether the blocking orders are tv specific whether already i think in anirudh basin case anirudh basin versus uh, union of india honorable supreme court of india clearly stated that uh, the blocking order should be a reasoned order they should give reasons no doubt definitely blocking orders can be given in the case of sovereignty integrity security friend relations which all i explained you and even it rules uh, 2020 received they have also given and they lays down the procedure that there should be a reasoned order right so now akar patel and that they say that it is nothing but uh, unchecked giving unchecked power to restrict uh, the freedom of speech right some people may agree and some people may not agree so article 19 clause 2 we all know it gives the reasonable restrictions 69a so please remember in the case of bridge bhushan and another versus state of delhi delhi supreme court held that pre censorship on the freedom of speech is highly unconstitutional but anyway people feel that this judgment has the potential of untrammeled power in the state to remove any content that it does not uh, approve so anyway the comments will be there of course we have to abide and we have to respect the judgment so you can also offer your comments so to conclude i want to tell you that the micro google blogging platform maybe google maybe twitter maybe instagram maybe facebook they have to follow the procedure established by indian law if they don't do it definitely they are liable for fine heavy fine hefty fine 50 lakhs is not another thing of course for peter it to peanuts but for us to hear it's a very hefty fine they have to pay there is no other go right please read the judgment and enrich your legal knowledge with this i am concluding thank you very much